It's been nearly two years I have been working with TCS for digital profile. Based on this, I can say that I'm a right person to tell you which are the must do four technical subjects for TCS digital interview. I have already shared my TCS digital interview experience. If you haven't watched it, the link is in the description box. In this video, I'm going to tell you right from the technical subjects to the most important topics that we need to prepare from each subject. And at lastly, I will be giving you one bonus tips regarding how to answer the questions based on your project. So I highly recommend you to stay till the end of this video to get the best out of it just in case if you are new to the runtime error do subscribe the channel for more such updates now without any further delay let's proceed operating system most of the students ignore this subject but let me tell you that whenever you are going for the higher packages there are high probability of getting the questions from operating system as well but most of the students are confused regarding what we need to prepare from operating system so first thing what are the types of operating systems and their uses there are so many different types of operating systems are available from the interview point of view make sure that you know at least five different types of operating systems along with their uses process from this topic you need to prepare about what is process what is the difference between the process and the program and the types of process states deadlock deadlock is a really small topic and it is mainly a theory based topic but there is a high chances of getting asked questions from this topic as well from this topics prepare as questions like what do you mean by a deadlock when does a deadlock occurs which are the four necessary conditions of deadlock and how we can prevent the deadlock. And finally, which is really most important thing I can tell you that types of scheduling algorithm. There are nearly eight to 10 different types of scheduling algorithms are available, but make sure that you know at least three to four types of scheduling algorithms along with their applications. So this was related to the operating system. Database. Database is considered as one of the most important subject for any interview. If I tell you about my TCS digital interview, 47 minutes of interview was mainly based on database. So from this, you might guess that how important this subject is. Now, what are the things that we need to prepare from this subject? Number one, normalization. From this normalization, prepare thoroughly since there are high chances of getting questions or most of the questions from normalization. The topics like what do you mean by normalization, why the normalization is required and types of normalization like 1NF, 2NF, 3NF and BCNF. Make sure that you are really clear with types of normalizations since you might be asked a difference between each type of normalization. Apart from this, prepare topics like what do you mean by acid properties, what do you mean by keys or different types of keys like primary key, candidate key, foreign key and unique key. Also make sure that you know the difference between each key as well. And lastly and most importantly, joins. Joins are considered as one of the most important subtopic from database since in any company or any interview, there are high chances of getting questions from this topic. At the same time, also practice simple queries so that even if the interview asks you to write some query, you are able to do so. So I highly recommend you not to skip a database since it is really important not only for TCS but for any company. Data structures and algorithm. Tell me, is there any company who don't ask questions based on data structures and algorithm? This is the most widely used or widely asked subject in any company. But if you are preparing for service based companies, you don't need to prepare everything from data structures and algorithm. I'm going to tell you which are the things you need to prepare for TCS digital interview. As we know that data structure is basically classified into two sections, linear and non-linear. So let's first discuss about linear data structure. We know that the data structures like stack, queue, array, linked list, these are basically linear data structures. So make sure that you are really good with the theory part of all these topics. Once you are done with the theory part, go and implement each data structure since there might be a possibility that interviewer might ask you to write a function of implementation of any of these data structures. Once you are done with the theory and the implementation part, the most important thing that we need to prepare and that is the application of each data structures. I highly recommend you not to skip the application of any of the data structures since in every interview before asking what do you mean by X data structure, they will ask you, tell me the application of X data structure. Now let's discuss about non-linear data structures. Non-linear data structures are a bit complex as compared to linear data structures. But hold on. From this, just make sure that you are really good with the terminologies of each data structure. For example, if you consider a tree data structure, make sure that you know each and every single terminologies from tree. Like, what do you mean by leaf node? What is the height of a tree? 
which are the different types of binary trees etc so these are the most do things we need to prepare from data structure section object oriented programming object oriented programming are the basic building block of any interview so we should not miss this even if you are from non cs background you should prepare this oops concept really well but most of the people study the oops concept in wrong way whenever they are asked any questions related to the oops concept they basically tell the theory answers now will that make any sense telling the theory answers related to the oops no right i will tell you the best way to practice the oops concept so whenever you are asked any questions related to the oops instead of telling the theory answers try to compare it with the real life example for example if someone ask me about what do you mean by polymorphism instead of telling the theory answers directly tell them a real life example for example when i go to home i become a son and when i go to college i become a student so it same entity is acting differently at the different scenarios and this is what we call as a polymorphism once we have given a real life example then tell the actual bookish definition of polymorphism believe me this will create a different impact since you are trying to relate a technical thing with the real life example so prepare all the oops concept with the, along with the real life example instead of just preparing its theory part now here is a final bonus tip for you in the bonus tips i am going to answer a two questions how to mention your project in your resume and what you need to prepare from your project so first let's discuss how to mention your project in your resume first mention the title of your project for the next two to three points add what you have done in this project or what you have implemented in this project and finally write the technology you used to solve or implement this project now let's discuss about what we need to prepare from your projects first point prepare what is your project is second important point you need to prepare is what problem you have solved in this project and third thing how you solve this problem fourth that is which technology you used to solve this problem and before leaving do tell what was your role in this project because when you tell your role in the project the questions will be asked only related to your role so i hope so this video has made some sense to you and added some extra knowledge in your case so just in case if you are new to the runtime error do subscribe the channel for more such updates till then have a happy code